I believe that science is not purposefully, but is lying to us. Misinformation on geology and evolution. But the alluvial rock, the sedimentary rock, the fossil record is millions and hundreds of millions of years old isn't true. Let me explain. When we talk about the age of rocks like limestone, limestone is, according to science, very old and takes a long time to form. Here's a piece of travertine. Now, they have something in common in the sense that there's minerals involved with this and they've been compressed and they're hard. Now, the question is, how old is travertine? And if you were to ask a geologist, he'd ask you, well, what fossils did you find in it? And in what layer or formation did you find it before they could answer that question? There are two examples in the United States that show that travertine, this right here, can be formed within days, weeks, months, years, and I'm gonna show you both of those. Now, what's the point of all of that? The point is this. There are two schools of thought when it comes to geology. One is long periods of time called uniformitarianism. It's been going on for 200 years, and we can thank Charles Lyell, the one who uh, popularized it in 1830. The other is a much longer theory that's been uh, established and has been ongoing for 6,000 years. And such notables as Moses, Louis, Louis Pasteur, um, and even Sir Isaac Newton uh, believed that there was a worldwide flood that the earth was created some 6,000 years ago. And I'm talking about life on earth, not the original granite rock. And that everything we see in the geological columns throughout the world and the fossils that we see were formed during that 371 day period of time that we call the global flood of Noah. That's right. Now, you're gonna read in the comments section that, and, and most profoundly, the critics that say that you're an idiot, this never happened, we've debunked that a long time ago. Oh, really? Let me show you some evidence in nature that suggests that rock can form very quickly. Travertine. Let's head over to Wyoming and take a look at our first example of fast forming rock. Example number one is the Teepee Fountain. Let me show you what it looks like. This is in Thermopolis, Wyoming at a state park. This was put up in 1909 to divert some of the water they needed to have redistributed. It's quite tall and they lined it with brick on the outside and then water came up through it and then cascaded down. Now, as you can see the progression here, it started to accumulate travertine, like we showed you earlier. And it was accumulating at one to two inches a year. Well, nearly a hundred years later, this is what it looks like. <laughs> and no, this wasn't done by aliens. And no, this is not baffling science, of course not. But what I'm suggesting here is, is that the TP fountain is exemplifying the conditions during that worldwide flood, which means that there was heat, pressure, and a little bit of time, and the conditions were such that it produced sedimentary rock quickly. That means coal was formed quickly. And we can produce some of these, like diamonds, like coal, in the lab and produce it within days, weeks, months. So is really the geology that we see really old or is this the product of a young earth? That is what we see around us. Let me show you example number two. We now take you to the Nevada desert where we're gonna see the fly geyser. Um, this was accidentally created in 1916. It was a well drilling going on and it all worked very normally until the 1960s. Um, it was heated by geothermal water and minerals and it started spurting out through the well and these dissolved minerals began to accumulate and gradually build up into a large colored mounds we see today. The geyser is tall. The mound rises approximately 20 to 25 feet and this was all done within the last 50 to 60 years. The temperature of the water is approximately 200 degrees. The cones that you see at the top are approximately six feet tall. So again, you see that rock can form quickly. Now, the question is, well, 
rocket. That's not rock. Those are just minerals being fused together. And let me show you an example of that. This is the criticism I get. You see this right here? This is an iron pipe from the Karlavi Vary Czech Republic underneath the streets and in it flows very mineralized water. Do you see this? This is uh, two and a half inches and it took 80 years to form this. The mineralization is profound, but all you need is, and what is this? It's aragonite, it's rock, it's rock. Okay, so don't believe me? Here, let me read this to you. This is from Google. What is rock made of? You ready? Rocks are made of different minerals, broken pieces of crystals or broken pieces of rock. Some rocks are made of shells. It is one or more minerals pressed together that makes up a sedimentary rock. All right, let's go back to the fly geyser. We're gonna drop the microphone on this one. At the fly geyser, they found something very curious. There were large sections of quartz that they found in the interior of it. Now quartz can form quickly, there's no question about it, but only small quartz can form quickly. Apparently this quartz is very profound in size, so much so that it should have taken 10,000 years to form the size that they, again, uniformitarian understanding, all right, but from a creationist standpoint, it does not surprise us because these are the same conditions that were during the flood that created some of the most largest crystals that we see today in the caves uh, throughout the world. Therefore, okay, and here's another example. Therefore, and this took six months, six months, six months. Friends, decide for yourself, is it a worldwide flood? or is it millions and millions of years of time? We've been told over the last 200 years, it's millions and millions of years. And yet we see examples when the conditions are right. And the hypothesis or theory is, is that during a worldwide flood, those were the conditions that were going on during that time. So that during that 371 day period, all of the layers that we see today, all of the fossils, including the dinosaurs, were all laid down 4,400 years ago during a 371 day period of time, which then the, the rock hardened, the fossils were created no more than 4,400 years ago.